Welcome back to Self Built. Today is a very simple build video. I'm going to show you how you can build a pullover dumbbell. It sounds kind of strange for it to be exclusive to one exercise. It does a lot of different things. I'm just trying to highlight one of the really good benefits that it does very well. If you already have your own DIY gym, chances are you probably already have this equipment and you just don't know it yet. Let's jump into it. What is the dumbbell pullover exercise? It's kind of a forgotten exercise that has been left on the wayside because there's so many cables and machines that make it already set up, easy to get into and easy to feel. But just because it's old doesn't mean it's obsolete. Essentially what you're doing, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, is you're gonna be laying back on a bench. You're gonna have a weight on your chest. You're gonna slowly lower it above your head and bring it back under control. This is really good for getting a stretch in your lats, also your chest. There's also some controversial opinions of it helping expand the rib cage. I'm not gonna get into that today, but it has a lot of benefits to it. It is a little bit more difficult to get into than your traditional cable or machine exercise for it. The reason I even thought of making something like this is because my dumbbells are the power block ones, which are fantastic, but they don't really excel when you're trying to do that type of movement. All right, you guys are probably dying to know, what is it, what is it? Well, if you already have homemade cables, chances are you've already got this. This probably looks familiar, a DIY loading pin. Essentially, the only parts that we're gonna use is the pipe and the floor flange. Now, the thing is, you probably need two of them, and the reason because you wanna take the other floor flange off of the other one and then this is going to go on top. Once you throw some weight on, of course, you've got your weight. Attach this on. Take two, attach this on. Just like that. Now imagine all you're doing is you're just holding onto this side. So this is like the dumbbell. This does have some unique benefits that traditional dumbbells won't have. So let me demo this. Got your bench. Some people like to lay this way with it. I don't like that because you can't get as much of a stretch, but if it causes pain or you have any sort of back issues, do whatever's most comfortable for you. The ideal guidelines is you wanna have about the top of your rear shoulders on the edge of the pad. Now to get into it, all you do is get your weight and it's nice because you can lay this flat on your chest. There's nothing stabbing you if you've got a lot of weight or anything like that and then you just grab it just like this. This will already engage your chest. And then as you go up, you wanna squeeze your chest. You'll start to feel your lats engage. And it'll keep going, keep going. And then depending on what you're trying to focus on is how deep you're gonna go. You'll go here, and then you'll bring it back up under control, just like that. Now some cool benefits you get Typically, if you've got a dumbbell right here, your hands are pretty flat out like this, but since you're able to really wrap your hands around it, you can really, I really feel a good chest squeeze when doing it like this. So that's a nice benefit that you have over dumb, traditional dumbbells. And then also, it's basically an adjustable dumbbell where you just have to add some more weight on or loosen it and boom, you are ready to go. And then one last tip, if you're trying to really get a deep stretch on this, drop your hips down. You'll really feel a good stretch. You wanna fill your rib cage with air and then go down. And that is where they start to say that you start to expand your rib cage. That's for you to decide. But I definitely do feel a big stretch when you're doing it like that. And that's it. Super simple, super easy. You can of course load this with more weight. Just doing a quick demo for you guys. But if you're wanting to try out an old classic movement, this thing is great. There's a couple other good movements that I'm stumbling upon with just these, and I'll be sharing those in the future. But if you don't have it, you can build it for, I'm gonna guess maybe like seven, $10. I'll do some research, I'll leave the price right here, and I'll leave some links in the description below if you wanna get it yourself. A quick tip with this is I would use the smallest plates available that you have. I've got one inch plates, so they're much smaller as far as how wide they are. 
The only problem you'll run into is if you've got like big 25s that come out, you're just gonna have a lot of weight that might be skin in your forehead. So it just might make it a little less natural of a feel. So use smaller weights if you can. I hope you guys try this out. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe with everyone that you know. And we'll see you next time on Mo Sales